In this video, I will show you how we can plot stress strain curve and find Young's modulus and the stress using MATLAB plot. So first, we will open the GitHub repository containing the MATLAB code. I will share you the link of this repository in the description. You can open specimenplots.m file in this. Copy the code. Copy the entire code to MATLAB. So, yeah, I have copied the code to the MATLAB. And open the raw stress strain file, uh, stress strain data file, which uh, you already have it from any of the machine data. So I have my stress strain data. I have already calculated my stress and I have calculated my strains. So this is my raw stress strain data. This is my data which I'll be working on. Then first define stress strain raw data matrix. So I'm just defining my stress strain raw data matrix. Now I'll I'll copy my raw stress strain data in this to that matrix. So this is my stress strain raw data matrix. Now I copy my code. I copy my entire code. I will explain different parameters uh, after some time, but I'll, I'll show how it works. So I'll copy this code. And then I'll get my stress and plot. You can see this is stress and this is strain. You can see this is 0.2% uh, offset. We also got Young's modulus. You can also uh, you can also see the yield stress uh, of about you know, 4, 480. So if you see here, the raw stress strain data, we almost have a very huge data set of about 8642 plus 2 matrix. So to, to plot to plot stress strain curve, we don't need uh, that uh, huge data set. So for that, I have defined a parameter, which is n, uh, that you can, uh, you can change uh, with respect to your data. So n is equal to 100. That means I will take I will take a point after every 100 100 gems. So that is how I define this n. And then SS1 and SS2 are the lower bounds of uh, lower bounds and upper bounds of my stress values for which I will calculate my Young's modulus. So so this yeah it can be modified according to the uh, problem you have. So, uh, there is a paper on the art, uh, on the coupon test. It is uh, the title is the art, the art of coupon test. So you can you can uh, find various types of uh, methods to find the Young's modulus in this paper. So right now I'm using in, in this example I'm using 50 MP and 50 MP as my lower bound and upper bound of the stress so that I can find my Young's modulus values. And then the remaining part is uh, self-explanatory, as you can see. Uh, once I find my lower bound, upper bound, and once I do find my lower bound, upper bound, and then I will uh, SS coarser is my stress strength uh, with the coarser data set after you know after applying n equal to 100. So I'll get 
points after every 100 points. So that is how I have defined it. And then, yeah, and then I have defined my E uh, links modulus calculation matrix. So later on, yeah. So links modulus is again um, the slope of stress and strain. And then once you know the Young's modulus, uh, you can develop an offset uh, stress strain curve, uh, which is 0.2% offset. So that is my SS offset as you, as you can see here, I have defined my SS offset, uh, which have, it starts with 0.002 strains and uh, uh, it takes a linear, uh, it, takes, it takes a linear path and with the slope, as Young's modulus and uh, the point of intersection of uh, SS offset and uh, the stress strain curve gives us the yield stress. So then we'll be getting this plot. Yeah, you can find the uh, Young's modulus and as well as the yield stress. Thank you.